Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Siriana Tarot. This is going to be a you versus them love reading for my dearest Taurus. Taurus, I'm going to read your energy on the left, your person's energy on the right, and then we're going to see what's happening between you right down the middle. Now at any point in time, feel free to swap the energies that I may be picking up on, and I also urge you to play with time. This could be a past connection, a current situation, or an energy moving towards you in the next couple of weeks. Also, if these messages do resonate with you, I am going to ask that you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's see what clear messages and guidance come through for my dearest Taurus for their highest and greatest good. All right, so we have the Ace of Pentacles. This is your energy. You're viewing your person as the Five of Swords and the connection as Temperance, or in this deck, deck Art in Reverse. Your person, Queen of Swords in Reverse. Viewing you as the Seven of Pentacles in Reverse. And we have the Princess of Wands in reverse. Okay, so it looks like your person may be a little bit angry or upset here about what's happened. Um, they may feel that, you know, the connection burned very hot and very fast. They're definitely, your person is definitely angry or upset about something that's happened in the past or having a hard time getting over something that's happened in the past. But you are going to get communication here. We have the Magician and we have Cancerian Energy with the Chariot card. Okay. And we have the Five of Wands. All right, Taurus. So what I'm seeing here is there's definitely some conflict here between you and this person. Um, you see, you know this. This is very clear to you is what I'm seeing because you're seeing them as the Five of Swords. Maybe they're a bit de detached. You know that they're angry or upset about something. You also feel like there's an imbalance in this connection. Now, the signs that are coming through very strong, we have Virgo, Gemini, Cancer, Sagittarius energy. You are going to get clarity and communication here, though, about what to do. Now, you're in the energy of the Ace of Pentacles, so I'm wondering if some of my Taurus, you've started something new um, with someone else, or you're hoping to have a new beginning here with this person. And we see the chariot card. Yeah, see, you're ready to move forward. Cancerian energy. Find creative solutions to your problems. Um, again, some of you, you're moving on from this person. We're going to have to see. And others of you, you want to push through any obstacles or difficulties. Now, you're viewing your person as the five of swords and the four of wands. So you're seeing this person as someone that you could have a future with. Um, maybe build a family, maybe you have a family or live together or take things to the next level. Um, but you know that your person has some conflicts that need to be resolved either with you or from their past. And you're viewing the connection as temperance energy in reverse. So I'm wondering if my Taurus out there, you also feel like things have moved too quickly um, or things are not quite balanced or there's some healing that needs to take place. But you know, I'm getting in your energy that you have all of the tools that you need to manifest a balanced, healthy, stable connection. And Double Magician card tells me that you both have all the tools that you need to be successful here in this relationship. But what I'm seeing with the Queen of Swords in reverse is that your person is stuck on something from the past. They're either angry, they're upset. I don't know if they have you blocked. I don't know if they're... Um, I don't know if they're just, if they haven't healed from a past relationship as well, or is it something that's happened between the two of you? Yeah, look at that. Your person, three of swords, heartache, disappointment. So it feels like your person, Taurus, definitely still needs to heal. And they may be projecting that past wounding onto you or onto this connection. I do see that my Taurus are willing to hold space for this person, provided that it's, you know, that it that it's not to your detriment, um, they're viewing you as the seven of pentacles in reverse. So I think this person feels like you're over it or you're not giving to this connection anymore. Um, uh, maybe some of you have had an ending with this person and we see the devil in reverse. This person is also seeing my Taurus though, seeing you as, you know, I love this devil energy in reverse as somebody who's cleared karma, 
so that you've been doing a lot of healing work. I, I do think that they, they admire you for that or they recognize, Taurus, that they can heal with you. Um, because it looks like with the devil in reverse, they're seeing that you've been able to um, move past some of these difficulties, either in the relationship with them or in your past. But they're viewing the connection as the Princess of Wands in reverse. They're not sure about the stability of this connection and Hierophant energy in reverse. Some of you, again, you're in separation from this person. But I, I feel like your person has doubts about the stability of this connection. I think they have more doubts than you might have. But what I mean by that, Taurus, is I think this person is more worried that they're not good enough or they're still sort of angry and triggered about something from the past and it feels like you're in a much more stable energy. So let's see. We have the Ace of Swords. You have clarity. You have communication coming in and the full energy in reverse, okay? So your person may be telling you that they're feeling foolish about the way they behaved or something they said or they did. Um, they might, I, I kind of feel Taurus like this person, you might not know this, but feels like they're not good enough. Like they're doubting whether or not you're, you want to be with them. You want to invest in them. And I feel like that's because they still do have some healing that they need to do. Now, again, communication, clarity, action with the magician here, clarified by the six of pentacles. See, I think this connection can and will be brought into balance. So, like I said, some of you, you're in separation from this person. For others of you, there's just been like a quiet sort of pause. Maybe there's been a fight or an argument. I think this person's going to come and be quite vulnerable with you about how they feel foolish about, you know, maybe not having enough, maybe not doing enough or, you know, not feeling good enough. Um, we get double chariot energy so that somebody may have cancer in their chart. We also have double magician energy, Virgo, Gemini energy. We have Capricorn, we have Aries, we have Taurus showing up. Things are on hold or on pause right now. And there's definitely been some conflict, double five of wands. So what I'm seeing here, Taurus, too, you two may mirror each other. I feel there needs to be a very strong or a very um, important, authentic, open conversation here. Because in the, in the center of the reading, we have, let's make up, let's make it up to each other, let's get on the same page. You're clearly your soulmates. There's potential for ten of pentacles here. Um, but you may not realize that this person has some doubts, maybe because you're different from one another, maybe you have different backgrounds, um, you've been through different things, but we get double ace of pentacles. See, I think there's this, uh, there's a lot of potential for you and this person to create something solid, safe, and secure, but what Spirit is showing us here is we've got to work through some of these issues with clear, concise communication and honesty, and I think, I think you're going to get that from your person. I, I, like I said, they might come in and tell you why they're, they didn't take a leap of faith or what's taken them so long or, you know, what they're really struggling with. And I, and I like this because it feels like there's a sense of vulnerability, um, coming to you with this person. So we have the energy of guilt. So I release any beliefs that no longer assist in my soul's growth. All right. So this is your energy. So let go of the past, um, you know, I, I'm not sure if my Taurus are feeling guilty because you know this person is feeling heartbreak, broken, or disappointed, or angry with you. Um, and then we have change. I understand that nothing can grow or evolve without movement, but I do see that things are changing. And I do feel like my Taurus, for those of you that want to heal this connection, you're in the right energy of looking for creative solutions on how to move forward and not being so stuck on the past. All right, your person, they need to release the need to control. Okay, so I like that energy because it does feel like they're letting go of some of the past, you know, some of past baggage and things like that. And we get empathy. So I'm open to seeing both sides of the situation. And I think that's what the, that's the energy that your person is dropping into here. You know, feeling foolish about something they said or they did or something they've been projecting onto the connection. Um, I do see that there are challenges. We get double five of wands, so there are definitely challenges in this connection. I accept that challenges are the best way to learn, okay? So it does feel like things can be healed here. It feels like there's a lot of potential for a new beginning. Let's see what your person would like you to know. When I feel undervalued, I will treat my partner the same way. Ooh, okay, so again, there's a little bit of that mirroring energy I was picking up on. 
and you understand me so well, I can be my true authentic self with you. And that's what I feel is coming towards you. All right. When I am not happy with myself, I become inconsiderate to others. All right. And you truly are my best friend. All right. So that's what they would like you to know. All right. Let's keep going. Let's see what spirit would like you to know about this particular person or this particular connection. Clear messages and guidance for my Taurus, please. Someone feels remorse for the way that they treated you. Again, somebody here is feeling foolish for something they said or they did or for not taking a leap of faith. All right, so it does look like it's time to make some pretty serious decisions here about this connection moving forward, um, finding those creative solutions. And it's about seeing if you and this person do share the same vision of the future. Um, and Spirit saying this relationship deserves a second chance. So you may not have been on the same page here, Taurus. Um, but it looks like there's there's a second chance here. There's definitely a lot of potential for mending things, healing things, and getting back on track. Okay, so let's see. Final messages from my Taurus, please, for their highest and greatest good. So, yep, talking. There we go. There's that, that authentic, that raw, that real vulnerable conversation. Um, and we see the runner. So it's possible your person ran that they have a fear of intimacy or they were listening to their ego. Um, it, it does feel like there's been some sort of break or some sort of separation. Um, but, you know, if you want it, it looks like it's it's something that you absolutely can work through. All right, I'm going to leave it here, Taurus. I'm sending you so much love and light. If these messages do resonate, I'm going to ask that you hit that like button, share, subscribe. Check out the description box for ways you can get a private reading or if you like the cards I'm using or if you want to follow me on TikTok and Instagram. Love and light, Taurus. Take care.